video meniscometry. Video meniscometry is a non-invasive technique for the measurement of the tear meniscus radius of curvature. It can be used to calculate meniscus volume, which is the product of meniscus area of cross-section and total lid length. Meniscus volume is an index of both total tear volume and tear flow. For this reason, it is of value in the diagnosis of aqueous deficient dry eye. The normal radius of curvature is 0 0.3 millimeters. Meniscometry should be performed in quiet room conditions. With this technique, an illuminated black and white horizontally striped target is projected onto the lower central tear meniscus and the real-time reflected image is viewed coaxially and captured for analysis. The radius of curvature is calculated from the width of the observed stripes using the concave mirror formula. Measurements may be made on screen, on the printed page, or after capture using image analysis software. This is video meniscometry, um, which is one of the few ways that we can actually quantify this feature of the tear film. Uh, and it involves this unit here, this central unit, the meniscometer itself. And today we're actually projecting the image onto a, a small TV screen. Um, but you also have the facility to video this image or export it digitally and indeed print the image. Uh, and the information we get from the meniscometer is on this TV screen here. Now what the video meniscometer allows us to do is to quantify the radius of curvature of the meniscus which in turn relates to tear film volume. And on the monitor here, we'll look at more closely in a moment, but you can see these black and white stripes. And the width of these stripes forms a direct relationship to the radius of curvature to the meniscus as it acts as a concave mirror. And the broader the stripe, the greater the radius of curvature and the greater that we would estimate the tear film volume to be. We can see quite even stripes here. They distort a little bit in between blinks, but generally they're quite uh, uniform. Meniscus contour is affected by small abnormalities in lid margin contour. That's a plug in one of the meibomium gland mm -hmm. openings onto the rim of the lower eyelid. Mm -hmm. And you can see that because there's a change in shape or profile of the lid margin, there's a change in shape of the or, or change in profile of the meniscus that mirrors that. Installation of an artificial teardrop causes a transient expansion of the tear meniscus. Okay, we can see here that uh, the stripes are broader, indicating a greater volume in the tear film meniscus, and we have just instilled some artificial teardrops. So you can imagine that they would increase the volume, and we can see this with the meniscometer. And over time, as we sit here, we can see that those stripes are actually going back to normal width as the extra volume is taken away by drainage. Video meniscometry is also of value in estimating the residence time of an artificial teardrop, assessing the efficiency of a punctal plug or punctal occlusion.